talking about a fix is that there's this great book by Scott Rigby and Rich Ryan, I think. Yeah, Richard Ryan, called Glued to Games. It's an older book. What's the but name the of the book fundament- again? Glued to Games. Richard Ryan was one of the co-founders of self-determination theory, and Scott Rigby was somebody who kind of was it was in that generation of people who grew up playing games. He played a lot of video games, but he basically did a, a bunch of research to really clarify that for that that the video game context is one where if you support the needs for autonomy, competence, and relatedness, those are the central, uh, you know, primary human needs that self-determination theory puts up. Yeah. Hopefully that's uh, what we want for our children. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But once you provide supports for those things, then the appearance of addiction goes away. And so what he's what he this is you know the basis of what I was just saying is that is that when you recognize that the primary human needs these are psychological needs that are just as important as air water food sleep and shelter is when you support those needs then then addiction's not a thing because what the fix was what and, and if you think about games or or social media in particular mm-hmm. nobody there is telling you what to do Nobody there is is imposing on you. You get to have the freedom, the the autonomy. The you can seek out, and that's a a lot of what it is. Is the relatedness is is most the most popular games in the world are not the sh- not inherently just shoot 'em ups. It's the the games where people can interact with other people, um, and so relatedness is key to to how m- the most popular games work. And and then the whole point of of designing a game is to enhance competence. Now it may be a narrow form of competence because <laughs> uh, you're pushing buttons, but but actually even the most popular games are ones that challenge you mentally, that that create complicated scenarios, that that compl- complexify your ability to achieve any particular goal. And the by far most popular games are ones that don't inherently specify a goal. You can pursue any goal you want in that game. <laughs> you know, things like Minecraft and things like that. It's like there is no inherent goal. There's not even a you, you build the world and so you create your own goals. My grandson so when, you when really he was get four that. years old, my grandson built me a house with a swimming pool as my mother's day present. Four years old on Minecraft or Roblox <laughs> or one of them. As a gift. Right, right. And he was so excited and so proud of himself. Yeah. There's so many positive things with with uh, social media and gaming that I'm really concerned with people that are trying to like totally make it the the boogeyman, the bad guy. You know, right. let's get rid of the no, no, no. This is the Agentic Schools Vodcast, where you will learn about schools from around the world where children's agency to make decisions about their learning and living is more important than their academic skills. What makes education possible is the satisfaction of psychological needs. So that is what these schools have in common with all others. What makes a school agentic is satisfying those needs particularly well. I'm your host, Don Burr.